and we took time to count the number of times that Paul used the word one uh, from verse 15 through verse 21. And it is very important to understand when we look at the moral, the spiritual decay in the world that we live in today. And certainly, I'm sure that all of us are concerned when we look at our children, when we look at, at families today, uh, when we look at the marriage institution and how it's even being distorted in society, uh, deviating from God's plan where marriage was created to be between one man and one woman, and to death they do part. Uh, we see that there is decay in government, and we see that there is decay even in the Lord's church and, and other denominations, uh, and we see that there is even decay abroad, or war and theme. And, and the root to it all, as we suggested in the last broadcast, is because of the original sin in the Garden of Eden, where Satan deceived uh, Adam and Eve. And as a result of that, Paul said uh, that death reigned. There are several characteristics that are associated if you read Romans chapter 5, verse number 15 through 21. There are seven characteristics that are associated with Adam that we all fall prey to because we all come from Adam and Eve. That's reading the scripture says in Genesis 3.20, Adam called his wife named Eve because she was the mother of all living. Eve is the first mother of all mother. All humanity comes from Adam and Eve. Paul says, while speaking to the Athenians on Mars Hills in Acts chapter 17, that God had made of one blood all nation of men for to dwell on the face of the earth. It matters not uh, our culture nor ethical background, uh, uh, whether we are African Americans, whether we are Caucasians or whether we are some other nationality, all of us come from Adam and Eve. And if you ever attempt to really get to your true roots, uh, you fall short of your roots uh, unless you go all the way back to Africa and trace your roots to Adam and Eve. That's the roots of all humanity. The characteristics that Paul said are associated with Adam. The reason we all fall in the predicament of condemnation was because, number one, the offense of Adam. Because, number two, the death of Adam. Number three, the sin of Adam. The judgment of Adam. The condemnation of Adam. The disobedience of Adam. The law of sin and death that came as a result of Adam. Adam and even down to the law of Moses. Uh, not only that, but death reigned up under because of rather Adam and it passed on to all men. Uh, 